In order to use new words properly, you would have to invent a whole new language. And that, there is no doubt we shall come to it, is not at the moment our business. Our business is to see what we can do with the old English language as it is. How can we combine the old words in new orders so that they survive, so that they create beauty, so that they tell the truth? That is the question.
ask you for Thank you. 
see behind Why is that Like you're walking around
Ninety thousand years ago, a group of humans living in Africa decided to go for a walk. It was a long and slow walk, fraught with danger. It would take them and their descendants about eighty thousand years, but it was perhaps the most significant trek in the Earth's history. Homo sapiens were not the first hominids to leave Africa. Other hominids, such as Homo erectus and Homo neanderthalensis, had got a huge head start. At least twelve different species of ape belonging to the genus Homo have so far been described, and it seems very likely that there are many more awaiting discovery. The world that early hominids colonized was dominated by large mammals, megafauna, woolly mammoths, aurochs, cave bears, giant elk. Saber-toothed cats, woolly rhino. They were exploring a world that really did contain monsters. Every river they crossed, every new valley they entered, they could expect to stumble across new and formidable behemoths, many armed with tusks, horns, fangs, claws, tusks, horns, fangs, claws. As they travelled, they would have come across other hominids, tribes of creatures varying from the large and powerful beetle-browed Neanderthals to the hobbit-like Homo floresiensis. Our legends are full of dragons and monsters, elves, and pixies, and trolls. They are not myths. We really did once live in a world that was full of such wonders. I have told my sons that they are not under any circumstances to take part in massacres, and that the news of massacres of enemies is not to fill them with satisfaction or glee. I have told them not to work for companies which make massacre machinery, and to express contempt for people who think we need machinery like that. And what do the birds say? All there is to say about a massacre: things like "kiwit." Or guns, tanks, bombs.